This tutorial will contain basic and additional information about manipulating the panorama curve. When a CT scan is loaded into Blue Sky Plan, the software automatically draws the relevant panorama curves to the case. The automatic curve button can be used to toggle between viewing the mandible or maxillary arches. The panoramic curve can be modified by dragging any of the yellow square control points to adjust the curve's shape and position. The shape and positioning of the panoramic curve affects the panoramic bottom right view and cross sections top left view, which are compiled based on the panoramic curve. This is very useful in trying to emphasize structures such as the mandibular nerves. Additional functionality includes the following. The center button to the right of the panoramic bottom right view allows the user to control if they are viewing a single slice in the panoramic view or a composite view of all the panoramic slices together. Clicking on the center icon changes the emphasis in the axial view whether it's the two-line composite view or the single slice mode. Dragging the red square control point will move the entire curve as a single unit. Moving the panoramic circular control point will let you expand or contract the entire panoramic curve. The width of the composite view can be controlled by adjusting the inner and outer composite curves. Dragging any of the four round control points at the end of the curve will include or exclude more slices. In addition, it will control the field of view in both the cross sections and the tangential views.